it's a new month and I have not updated my planner really at all since May. So I felt it was time for some new uh, dividers. And so I decided to just take this old file folder that I had lying around. I thought it was a nice color and it would go well with the, uh, the rustic brown paper, or sorry, rustic brown leather of my planner. So I uh, chopped it up. I measured the uh, dividers that I already have. I will link to those in the description box below. I got them on Etsy. Um, and so I measured, I think it was five inches tall, just under five inches tall by um, three and a half inches wide. That's to the end of the tab. So I cut everything down that way. And that was, of course, a little bit tricky. I wanted to make sure everything was square. So you see I'm cutting here on one side and then trimming off a little bit of excess on the other so that I have square edges. And then so I have a seven by five here and I just cut that in half. So I've got to do that with all of these pieces. And then we'll work on cutting all of the, the tabs out of those individually. I am definitely cutting more pieces than I know I need because what if I make a mistake? I was planning to do an October plan with me, but I have all of my months in here already and not really a place to like duplicate that. I tried duplicating that. I don't care for it. So I already have October set up. I just needed a little bit of a refresher. So I'm just doing the design rather than the contents of my plan or new for the month done cutting a bit for now so I set aside the uh, the paper cutter and now I'm using my white uniball signo to pull out each individual tab and trace uh, or each divider and trace the tabs onto the paper the white just makes it stand out I'm still not entirely convinced that was the right call because you can still kind of see it on the finished product but you know not very much so you'll see that um, but basically just tracing each individual one. There's probably a better way to do this. Like mathematically it would work. Um, but I just figured it was easier to trace it, quicker to trace it. And I was kind of doing this while the baby was asleep and I wanted to get it done as quickly as possible. Cause you know how that goes. Also, sorry about the framing. I zoom in a little bit too far and then, well, I'm not a professional. If you want to pay me to do this, I am perfectly happy to accept your payment and I will improve my setup. But until that day, enjoy your free content. This last piece that I'm cutting out is actually for the, uh, book the bookmark for the little today marker. So let's do that first. I'm not going to write today on it because this is minimalist. I'm just chopping the corners with my corner rounder and then grabbing a little bit of washi tape out of the drawer here. This washi tape is from Michael's. Uh, it came in a three pack of little gold foiled ones. I don't know, I just thought the uh, colors looked good and I'll just trim around the edges here a little bit. And we just have a very simple little daily marker to mark where I am in the calendar. And before I move on to the dividers. Let's just punch here. Fortunately, it fits uh, out the side of the punch. I'm able to just align the day marker to one side uh, where it says like pocket. It's, there's a little mark uh, that tells you where to go. Uh, and then I was able to just punch it and it sticks out the top. So I'm uh, trying to experiment with different ways to actually cut the tabs themselves. I was going to try using my craft knife, like my X-Acto knife. It's actually off brand, but uh, it decided mostly to end up just using the paper cutter. It's a little bit tricky because I'm definitely erring on the side of cutting too little over too less, uh, over too much. And so uh, I'm sort of using the exacto knife to kind of trim the edges and clean up the corners a little bit. Uh, you'll see me get a little bit better at this as we go. And then these uh, tabs are a quarter inch. So like I said, it was three and a half inches all the way to the end of the tab, three and th uh, quarter inch to the end of the divider part. That's the same uh, width as the pages themselves, so that works. And uh, so the tab is a quarter of an inch, and so the, the tape perfectly, I did not plan this, but the tape that I'm using is actually half an inch wide, so I'm able to wrap it around the edges, and it gives it a really nice little look, I think. They're not perfect, um, none of these are perfect, but I kind of 
think that that's the aesthetic that I ended up going for here. Because like I said, uh, it's sort of a rustic leather from the planner. I'll also link the planner below, by the way. It's from Asian Vintage TN on Etsy. It's supposed to be a special kind of rustic looking leather. I don't even know, but it's, you know. It's kind of nice with the, uh, the found materials of the actual uh, the dividers here. They're just, you know, some file folders that I'm using. And it's just a little bit of gold kind of classes it up without it being too polished, I think. I'm really liking how these turned out. Uh, if you have caught the mistake I made, then well done. I will point it out when you get there. And then you'll get a gold star if you found it before I did. There's probably a better way to wrap the tape around the corner, but I'm actually really grateful that I have this X-Acto knife. It was a gift from my father-in-law and I use it quite a lot, actually. I just got this Fisker's cutter from Joanne, I think. I used to have a Cricut one, but then I couldn't find replacement blades and I had a coupon, so. It's consumerism gone mad. So we've got my full stack here of dividers. And then that last one is the very front one that does not have a tab on it, so it doesn't get tape either. So uh, in a second, I think I'm going to bring the planner into frame, but I'm just here we go, pulling uh, the dividers out one at a time and replacing them with the new ones. There's a little bookmark. One at a time. I did a flip through of this whole video, or I sorry, a flip through video of this whole planner, which I will also link in the description below. So you see, ah, I have an extra tab. Where did that come from? Did you catch the mistake? I'm just now realizing it uh, as I'm recording this here. Yep, I made an extra one. <laughs> and so I'm deciding between the two of them, which one to use. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.